Hello folks, a very good morning, good afternoon, good evening to whom we have been watching a different time period. I literally welcome you all to this another video session. So in this video session, we will be having a clear understanding and discussion regarding custo query language and its uh, essential criteria and its uh, importance in the field of cybersecurity. Especially when working with tools like Azure Sentinel and other Microsoft services. So here are the, uh, some of the relative uh, interview questions which is basically been asked for the position of cyber security analyst so first number question that is basically been asked is that what is custo query language and uh, why it is very 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 important in the context of uh, cyber security so custo query language is a query language used for uh, querying large data sets in azure services okay such as we can say uh, azure sentinel and azure monitor or you can say azure monitor right so in cyber security uh, kql is crucial for analyzing and querying uh, security logs and also events to detect and investigate potential threat okay so it allows analysts to filter uh, aggregate and uh, correlate data to identify patterns and anomalies indicative of security incidents okay so that's it that is that is the main important uh, criteria or we can say main important set for uh, querying kql right so or, or the or the or the use of kql in the field of cyber security and in the in, in azure services and in azure sentinel and in azure monitor okay so next number is that is basically been asked uh, you know uh, is that how do you retrieve all records for uh, from specific table in kql so to, re to retrieve all records from specific table in kql you can use the following query as table name simple explain the use of project operator in kql right very good question folks so project operator in kql is basically is used to uh, specify a specific set of columns from a table and uh, project them in a query result okay for an example we can say uh, kql table name project column one column two then after how can uh, you filter result based on a specific uh, condition in kql so filter result based on a specific condition in kql you can uh, use the where clause okay for instance i can use as a table name where column double equals to value okay so this is how we can uh, filter the result based upon specific condition next is how do you perform aggregation in kql okay so aggregation in kql is done by using like operator sum count average etc for an example if and i can use as summarize table count is equal to count average value is equal to average count value one so this is how actually we can perform the aggregation uh, operator in kql next number question is explain the use of join operator in kql so the join operator in kql is used to combine the records from two or more uh, tables uh, based on a common field for an example i can say uh, kql table joint kind is equal to inner table two or on common field okay how can you sort query results in ascending and descending order in kql so to sort uh, query results in ascending and descending order in kql you can use the sort operator for example i can say name sort by column one is equal to acs then after we have explained the use of uh, extended operator in kql the extended operator in kql is uh, used to add new column okay or extend existing one for an example a uh, table name extended new column is equal to column one plus column two how do you limit the number of results written by kql in uh, query in kql to limit the number of results in kql you can use the uh, limit operator okay for an example i can say table name limit 100 okay so this is how we can use the value or we can say the number of uh, we, can, we can say uh, limit the number of results which is basically written uh, by kql next uh, finally uh, with a question that can explain the use of uh, summarize operator in kql and provide an example okay so that summarize operator is uh, basically been used to compute aggregate value okay based on group for an example uh, kql as table name summarize total count equal to count aggregate value or average value is equal to average column one by grouping column okay just uh, make a note of all this folks it is very crucial and very important whenever you are appearing for any interview uh, and uh, here is the summarized question as well as answers uh, which is basically comes with kql okay so these questions are basically designed for candidates film rights to custom query language and their ability to construct the query for analyzing and uh, extracting the information for cyber security data okay so this is how actually we can use the uh, custom query language uh, for 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 our analysis for a 
every interview you can attempt this and get a idea on that folks thank you